Abuse doesn't have to be physical. But if you move my hair without permission, to me, that's abuse. When you verbally attack, because that to me is what it is, you are determined that the answer that I gave you is not one you want to hear. You do not recognise me as British. And until I acknowledge that I am not, you are not going to stop. What do I do? What do I do at that point? So I become silent. And I hope she would go away, and she eventually did. If you ask me a question and I give you the answer, then that's that. Move on to the next question. But if I give you that answer several times and you won't accept it, then let's recognise that there's a problem here. All right? I, I am very clear. I was not given the answer that she wanted me to give, and so we could not move on. And it was when she said, ah, oh, I knew we'd get there in the end, that proved to me you were determined to prove that I had no right to British citizenship. Now, that reminds me of the, the Windrush conversation where 50, 60 years on, people who were born here, worked here, or, you know, have given so much can just be thrown out. I mean, you know, it's a difficult conversation, but we're going to have it. Institutional racism is what Mandy Reid said, she said this was. Would, do you agree with that? And do you, and did it, how does it sit with you, the fact that she resigned, but do you think there's a deeper problem here? So institutional racism, racism is a problem all over the UK. It's in the police, it's been established. It's in the fire uh, de brigade department, that was established. It's even in parts of the NHS. It's a problem. And it's in Buckingham Palace. So the one person isn't responsible. They need to review their whole um, policy on equality and race. They need to have a conversation with the people who say they are affected. And I know it's quite difficult when people say, I'm experiencing racism. There's going to be people all over the place to say, no, nope, you know, race card, this, that, the other. What are they afraid of? Why don't you listen? Because if we want positive change, the only way that's going to happen is if we listen and we take action. It's the only way.